Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below, and of course, hit the bell for notifications. I'm an old financial advisor and educator. I used to teach high school and college level classes, management, finance, all kinds of stuff. Now we just try to make tons of cash, and uh, you know what? It's a great community. We've grown from one all the way up to almost 600,000 now in a little over a year and a half, I would say. It's a dream come true. Now today, the dream come true is that we want to make some cash. And I do believe we're going to see a nice little run with Neo because we've we've seen it up about 90% now, a little under 90% over the last few weeks. I expect it to continue. I talked about a video yesterday and the smart money, as I showed in that video, is now starting to load up on some of those Chinese plays. And rumor has it, nothing confirmed yet, but the Chinese government is going to possibly extend the EV tax credits into 2024 three and we'll see if they cancel it in 2024 but it was supposed to be done i believe by the end of this year now it's looking to be extended this is going to be a lot of positivity and they have quantitative easing which should help uh neo roll up even more and that does include like xpeng lee uh byd there's a lot of different stocks out there but one of my favorite value plays not just growth plays Alibaba. Don't sleep on Alibaba. I actually think that one could have a run too. Now, with that being said, we're going to get into a lot of different things. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, take advantage of this. Uh, right down below the video here, you're going to have a link over to Moomoo. And they're giving you six free stocks worth up to $15,000. If you deposit one penny or more, if you deposit one hundred dollars or more, you'll get seven stocks worth up to seventeen thousand five hundred and one stock, an eighth stock that is a lucid, a guaranteed. So it's an absolute winner. And I, I suggest taking advantage of that. Now, let's start with the pre-markets. Of course, take a look at what's going on at the time of making this video. This is what we are looking at. The and you know, when I started doing my research uh, last night, it was red. Everything was red, 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 red. What changed? Well, the overseas markets opened up in China. They're rolling up and you're starting to see uh, the futures of the U.S. markets changing as well. For those who don't follow the overseas markets, I highly recommend downloading that Moomoo app. They show you the Hong Kong exchanges. You can buy stocks over there and everything else. And even if you don't buy them, you can just watch. And of course, they do have the U.S. markets on there as well. Take advantage of it. So and then we come down here. Crude. 108.11 huge opportunity remember uh it did get down there it was up at 120 something i think it hit like 130 and dropped back down now since that that crushing the overall energy oil just crushing and now we're gonna i believe we're gonna see a slow march up through the summer season and once we get into winter depending on what russia does we could see more uh action on it and i do believe we'll still hit that 150 mark to 250 mark. I still think 150 is going to be where it's at. I have a ton of it. I've been buying. I'm going to continue to buy. I'm going to take advantage of it. So take a look at NEO. The NEO stock price prediction I had at the end of the year is $30 for this year with all the differences. And of course, we remember the better days when it was up there in the 60s and everything else. But a lot of bad things happened. We had a major, major shutdowns, lockdowns, COVID. They have zero tolerance over there. And I believe they had zero cases yesterday in shanghai so good news for that that means that the opening should come very quickly and that is going to be great news for neo and everybody buying the neos it's going to be big and of course we know they got their new line uh, the, their new lineup i should say some big things happening over there neo park continues to move forward uh it's just a lot of good things now we have to wait and see the expansion they're going to hit the us by 2025 like they said I believe they will. I know a lot of articles out there. We've been talking about this for over a year, but talking about all the hiring they're doing. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Their their numbers are looking better. And since it's been ugly the first quarter, obviously lockdowns. Second quarter, I would say it's going to be a little ugly as well. But I expect huge numbers for Q3 and especially Q4, depending on how COVID goes and everything else with the U.S. and China. So we'll see. But I expect this to hit $30 a share minimum by the end of this year, okay? Sometime before the end of the year, this should hit 30. I expect this to hit 25 to 26 by the end of this week. And so we'll find out if we can move up another five to 10%. That is what I'm expecting. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We'll find out though. Uh, all right, so where have we gone with this for those that have not watched? Yes, it's still down big time, but it is starting to rally. And you can see 89.46% up off the bottoms. I know some people out there were following along buying with me so good things have been happening 
All right. Now, what else we got going on here? Uh, oh, yeah. If you haven't done it, hit the Gemini link down below. Remember, you can come over there and get $7 worth of free Ethereum just for signing up and $20 if you use my link and trade $100 or more. You can get the $20 in Bitcoin or in Bitcoin instead and take advantage of that. Uh, some some wild stuff going over there. You can get Sandbox over there up 50% over the last week right now and they have it over there at gemini one of the uh couple of places you can get it at but i like getting it over at gemini now i wanted to talk about the s p 500 because this is one thing a lot of people out there have been asking me about you know hey you see the the s p 500 moving up and you know you got this lofty some people believe it's lofty other people believe it's going to go higher others believe it's going to go down to 2000 something uh, for those who don't know the s p 500 I believe we are around 3900 right now and so as we look at this uh we will say the forward four quarter estimate slipped a little bit this week and this is the earnings for the s p 500 and they have it at 235.68 from 236.06 so it dropped a little bit and then they, here's the big thing with the 6% rally uh, in the S&P 500 this week. That was a big rally for those shorts out there. And I know there is a ton of people shorting the market and stocks and everything. The Bear Burger Grill is on full fire out in the back patio. And I'm ready to toast them up. Maybe a little butter on the buns for those out there. And go ahead and make a little bit of cheese on there. And we're going to have some really good cheese Bear Burgers coming forward. Like I said, I do believe. And I know I'm in the, I did a, uh, I did a, a survey over at Twitter. For those who have not been following, get the link down below. You're going to want to follow me on Twitter. It's a little different than I do here on, on YouTube. I'm a little, a little bit more uh, open in how I discuss things. And so you're going to want to follow me at Twitter. Highly recommend it. But I put a poll out asking, do you believe that, and I'll do it right now, put it in the comments. Do you believe that the S&P 500 will get below 3,100 first or above 4700 will it get above 4700 before you know before we get below 3100 or do you think the market's going to crash and go to 3100 or below i personally think we'll hit 4700 or above i found out i'm actually in the uh smaller group they do not believe that most of the people i think it's close to 58 percent believe we're actually going to have a crash and we're going to shoot right down uh, to below 3100 that kind of made me actually feel good Remember, most of the retail investors out there, as they look at this market, uh, a lot of them are driven by the articles and all the information coming out in the news, and it's been very negative, very, very negative, except if you're here on this channel. I try to wade through all the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that FUD and actually pull out the numbers like I'm going to do right here. And when we pull them out, what do we see? Well, uh, we see the earnings right now at 236. Now, projected, projected earnings now moving forward starting July 1st for the next four quarters. You can come down here and see it's expected to go up to 241.70. So that means over the next year from Q3 to uh, Q3 2023, they are expecting 2.5% growth in the earnings in the S&P 500. If that happens and the Fed pivots sometime before then, you could see a very strong rally. And that is what I'm looking forward to. And hopefully we get. Now, this changes, obviously, and we'll see how it goes week to week. And I'm hoping for some good things here. But that is what we are seeing, just for those who have been wondering. And that's what we got there. And so I do believe we're going to see a little bit of positivity. Now, for the overall uh, YouTube, I'm going to be adding some stocks later on today. Check back at the afternoon video. You can see what stocks I bought and how this is doing. I believe, based on preliminaries here. We could have a good day today. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. Hopefully we do. And uh, I believe NEO should do well. And some of the other stocks, we'll have to wait and see. But right here, you can see 8.23% BOO. Uh, we have two weeks that are green out of all of these weeks, which is just ridiculous. Wow, 24 weeks. We only have two weeks that are green now. But as the market recovers, and I do believe it will, a lot of these will start flipping. And you're going to see this hopefully turn positive for the year. Remember, we are down around 18% for the year. This is only down about 8%. So dollar cost average helped to reduce how much money we lost. And as this turns, we should be able to outperform the market at this stage. Now, the conservative portfolio, 11.28. Why, Mo? What's going on? I thought you were going to beat the S&P 500. I'm trying. The problem is the energy collapsed, 20-something percent almost 30%. So some of these stocks I had in energy absolutely got crushed. And so I'm watching that. I only have two green in this one, just like the S&P 500. 
But I do believe uh, Synovus will come back. We'll have to wait and see about that. Now, as we move to the aggressive portfolio, this is the amazing one. This is at 18%, which even though you're like, Mo, that's getting hammered compared to VOO, I actually think there's a good chance. And this late in the game that this could rally and actually catch up to all of them, go buy them. That's what I mean about dollar cost averaging. Yeah, it's down 18%. We'll see where it ends this week. But take a look at the latest, uh, let's say, six out of seven weeks. We're rolling now. I've been getting into NEO. Like I said, following those Chinese stocks. I know NEO should continue to do well. 47%. Uh, 27%, 19% for charge point. Charge point again, 5% last week. I do believe we'll continue to see some good things happening. And some of these numbers up here should flip eventually. Worst stock I bought though. I'm not going to shy away from it. Apps, man, 58% down. I was just flabbergasted by that. We'll see how we make out. Crypto right now, 50% on the dot. Uh, you can see the last two we bought though up. The rest just hammered. I believe we are absolutely at a near low for the crypto market. A lot of people wondering how I feel about it. We are, you know, I take a look at some of the technical things that people look at the, the, what the rainbow they show out there. I follow along with a lot of different pros out there in crypto. I do my own research, which I love doing. I do that 24 seven, put it all together with my stocks and my crypto. And I believe we are near that bottom. I think that 899 we hit in Ethereum was the ultimate bottom. And I believe we could trade between that 1300 to 900 range for a little bit. And then, of course, we will eventually break out of that and start a nice run up. Now, what I mean is we can go up 5, 10%, down 10, 20%, up 10, 20%. It's going to be all over the place still. There's still a lot of catalysts out there, but it's correlated to the market. So once the market pivots and we see that sustained run in the markets, I expect crypto to follow suit and do multiples in terms of gains as the market and people start rushing in and there's an old what is the old philosophy there is no alternative that's called tina and that means all this money that's on the sidelines all the shorted money as well in both crypto and the markets are going to have to cover eventually it can only go so low now the question is how low can it go and i know everybody has their own opinions about this but once we hit that bottom which i think we did you could see some uh, some buying pressure from short squeezes in both cryptos and some of these growth stocks. And then all of a sudden people realize, hey, you know what? Inflation's starting to come down. That's a key metric. A lot of people are waiting to see. Once we get reports that, that inflation is starting to drop consistently, you are going to go ahead and you're going to see these markets starting to rebound quickly. Shorts will start changing positions. And if the Fed slows down how aggressive they're getting, eventually, and I figure that's going to be late fall into winter, you could see a massive move up. That's why I like middle to late Q3 into Q4. I want to get set up now in Q2 into Q3 and just enjoy it then. That's what I believe is going to happen. I believe you're going to see China rolling up. I believe the U.S. is going to follow suit because we've been down a lot. I show you some of the, the, the markets from that in the latest videos. There's going to be a lot of opportunity around the world to make money. Don't sleep on the nifty 50 either over in India that they are getting tons of oil right now at a major discount, 30%. I expect their markets to do very well. But right now I'm watching. I think uh, the U.S. could be poised for a really nice rebound. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. So if you haven't done it, like I said, take advantage. Come over to the Patreon. I got that link down below for the Patreon. Join me. I got my portfolios. You can see what I'm buying and selling today and join the private disc where thousands of members. It is awesome. And of course, hit the Moo Moo link. Get those six free, or I should say six, seven free stocks if you put 100 bucks in, uh, worth up to 17500 and an eight stock for free, which is the Lucid Share. I highly recommend that. And then, of course, if you don't, you can only put a, you can put a penny in if you want and you'll get six free stocks. Weeble doing the same exact thing. Six free stocks for a penny or more. That's what they're doing. And then of course the Gemini link, click that down below, sign up, you can get, uh, or sign up, you get the $7 in free Ethereum or click my link down below and trade a hundred dollars more. You'll get $20 in Bitcoin. Take advantage of those. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.